Here now, the girls, an all-female perspective this morning from Jumana Kidd. She is an actress and also the former wife of NBA star Jason Kidd. And once again with us, psychologist, radio host, and author Cooper Lawrence. Ladies, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. The thing that, that strikes me from that piece is the lady who said, men today are saying, what's the big deal? Women are throwing themselves at him. Jumana, you were married to a star athlete, and there is a thinking that it sort of comes with the territory. You know what? There is a thinking that it comes with the territory. And, you know, unfortunately, when you're, when you're a young girl, I have two small girls, and their dream is you know, for their knight in shining armor to come and sweep them off their feet. So you do want to believe that. You know, you're not falling in love and, you know, being swept off your feet and thinking about these red flags. And mm. you're, you're young and you don't have the experience and the knowledge. So it does come with, the, you know, the territory. But unfortunately, you just wish that the success, that their character can measure up to their success. You know, sometimes that, that success gets so up there and the character just doesn't sustain. So when you're going into a marriage with a star athlete, you know all the rumors, you know all the tendencies, but you like to convince yourself that maybe it will be different Well, of for course, me. of course you, you do want to believe, you know, who doesn't want right. to, you know, believe, you know, they want it to be their truth. But I think that, you know, again, being young, you know, you got to really get to know someone's character, their family, their upbringing, their values. I mean, I hate to throw every athlete under the bus because it's, there's CEOs, there's lots of powerful men out there who face, you know, it's, it's just pretty relative, depending. As, as the wife of a star athlete, do you feel like you have to be more forgiving because they are star athletes if they mess up? You know what? It's not about, you know, what his vocation was. It was just more about my upbringing. I didn't grow up with any divorce. I had, you know, seven uncles and an aunt, and we didn't have one divorce in our family. And it was about, you know, staying together. And you don't divorce your mom. You don't divorce your kid. You don't divorce your husband. Mm. And you work things out. And, you know, people aren't perfect. And I was in love with my family. I was in love with keeping my family together. And, and kids play a big part in that. And that may be something, Cooper, that Elon is going through today because they have two kids and maybe there is more pressure to save the marriage. Is there anything he can say today, Tiger, that would affect his marriage, in your opinion? No, actually. And, you know, it's, it's funny because it's women stand by these men. And the reason they do it is because they figure, why should I change my lifestyle because you screwed up? You know, and that's and I think that's a lot what we're seeing here because the truth is this isn't one affair. He didn't fall in love with somebody else. This is pathological and it's egotistical and it's because he's a narcissist, not because he's an addict. You don't I, believe that sex addiction is a real thing? Not in this case, absolutely not. And you know, I have to go by where the scientific evidence is, and it's a pop culture term, not a scientific one. And we're just starting to acknowledge it that it could be, but it's not in this case. At least I don't think so. I don't see any evidence of it. And what we heard about him in rehab is that he wasn't participatory, that he was disruptive, that he upset the other people there, and now he's coming forward for what? A photo op. I don't believe this is one of the 12 steps. I don't believe that he's really coming forward. And she's staying for her own reasons. And if she wants to stay, that's her thing, but not because he's apologizing. Mm. She's staying to keep her family together and because she thinks it's the right thing to do for her children. And that is a good reason to stay if that's her reason. If it's not a war zone there and the kids are going to be raised in a benevolent, lovely, loving environment, but if there's going to be fighting and it's not going to be happy, she should get out. And I think all of her friends would say he's not going to change. And I think I agree with them. All right. You, you know, agree? Well, you know, I will, I will say that, you know, when you're in it and at that moment, it does feel like everything's coming to an end. I mean, I know that I went through stages where I felt like a failure. I felt like I failed my marriage. I failed my kids. And, you know, this is the one thing that's so important to me. And, you know, here it is all coming to an end. So I wanted to do anything to keep it together. But, you know, it's always harder to think about. But, here I am. I'm a successful woman. I'm my own TV show right now on VH1. Well, not my own, but with mm -hmm. Pep from Salt Pepper. You're and part of it, yeah. Yeah, and, and I never would have thought. I never would have thought that I would have had the success, this independence. In hindsight, I do wish I would have left a little earlier. While my kids were smaller, because I think it's harder for the kids as they're older and they become more adjusted to your family situation. Great place to leave it. Jumana Kid, thank you so much. Cooper, always good to have you. Thank, thank you. you as well.